Thank you so much. I am so excited that you visited this platform today. My name is Dallin Fee. We, in this episode, we want to explain how to use the scientific calculator to solve questions involving indefinite integral that involves trigonometric function. And so you can see we use the same concept to solve questions involving exponential function as well as um, natural log. Stay tuned and let's dive into the topic. Okay, so our first example has to do with trigonometric function. Now, to integrate any trigonometric function, please, first of all, make sure your calculator is in a radiant mode. If you have forgotten how it is done, you simply press the shift, you press the mode, and then you select option 4. So, we are now ready to solve. Now, the first thing to do is that you are going to enter the expression you see in the question on the calculator. But you are not adding the integral sign and then the dx. You will not add them. You are just writing what you see in the expression. So, 3 sin x plus 5 cos x should be entered on the calculator. Now, let's go. So, I enter 3 sin x. So, sin and the sign has opened a bracket. So you put the x there, after which you must close this bracket. So I close it up. Then I have plus 5. So 5 comes, and then you add the cos x. So plus 5 cos x. And the cos 2 has brought a new bracket. So you, after adding the x, remember to close this bracket. So I close it up. Now, we are going to use the calc button to solve this. So, you press the calc. It will ask you, what value of x do you want to integrate this? Now, for the purpose of examination, I have actually tried 0 0.1 and it has worked for all the integration. So, please, we are integrating at 0 0.1. So, when you are asked what value of x you want to integrate, you simply put 0 0.1 and then you hit the equal sign button so it means when we integrate this expression when x is 0 0.1 the answer we get is this now we are going to also differentiate this yes you heard me right we solve the question but we differentiate the answers now any answer that will give us this same thing is the correct answer now, in order for us not to forget, we are going to save this. Now, to save this, you simply press the shift, and then you press the store, and then you press A. That means we have saved this answer to A. Now, let's know, how do we know which of these possible answers is the correct one? To do that, we are going to differentiate. To differentiate, you simply press the shift, and then you press the integral sign here. Now, we are going to enter this expression. Remember, we enter this without adding the plus C. So, let's go. So, we have 3 cos X. So, cos, once again, a bracket has been opened. So, after adding the X, remember to close that bracket. So, let's close. Now, this, bra this bracket here is for this. Okay? So, this one must be closed. So, you click on it. Now, we have closed for the X. Now we have plus 5 sine x. So plus 5 and then sine. That has also brought a new bracket. So after adding the x, kindly make sure you close it up. Okay, so I have closed. Now I am not going to add the plus c. So you move to the far right. So let's click the right arrow. Now it is asking what value of x did you actually integrate the question? Remember, we integrated using 0 0.1. So you enter 0 0.1 and then you hit the equal sign button. Now, how do we compare this answer to the one we got here? Remember, what we had here, we save it to A. Now, to compare that, simply press divided by. So we are going to divide this by the answer we save to A. When we divide and we get 1, that means this is correct. But when we divide and we do not get 1, it means this cannot be the correct answer. 
okay so let's hit divided by then the answer we see to e so you press alpha and then you press e then you press is equal to definitely this is not one so it means answer a is not correct now let's check answer b now you can see that this is my positive 3 cos x and this is minus 3 cos x and then 5 sin x 5 sin x which means everything in b is the same as what we see in a the difference is this negative so let's move the arrow up and then let's edit this so we are going to edit this one and then i am going to place this negative here so you just click negative and the rest are all the same okay so i want to be sure that my my values here are the same obviously they are the same so let me go and be sure that i am integrate um, i am differentiating at 0 0.1 which you can see now that i am convinced you will simply hit the equal sign button and then we want to find out is this answer the same as what we got here to be sure on it simply press divided and then press alpha and then press a the reason being that we have saved an answer to a we want to see when we divide if we get one that means this is correct if we don't get one it means answer b is not correct then you hit the equal sign button bam that means the answer b is correct so it means when you integrate this the correct answer is going to be the option b and we move on to our next example okay so the next example evaluate the integral of e exponent 2x over e exponent x plus 1 so obviously this is an exponential function and we want to integrate like we said make sure your calculator is in radiant mode once you see small r on top of it that means you are good to go now i am on the radiant mode so we want to solve this now we do so by writing this expression on the calculator without the integral sign so this is a fraction you hit the fraction button now the e on the calculator is you press shift and then you press the natural log okay you see e there the exponent is 2x so we have 2 alpha x now we are down with the top one so let's move the cursor down so you move down and the down one we have e to the power x so shift and then you press natural log and then the exponent is x so you press alpha x we are done but you see that the cursor is up but the plus one here is down so we need to move the cursor down you do so by pressing this arrow now the cursor is down so we can add the plus one okay so you can see this expression on the calculator the next thing to do is you press the calc button remember we are integrating at x is equal to 0 0.1 so you type 0 0.1 and you press the equal sign button so it means when we actually integrate this at the value of x is equal to 0 0.1 this is the answer we get in order for us not to forget you must save this and to save you simply press shift you press store and then you press a now we are going to compare which of the possible answers here will give us this same answer the one that will give us this answer is the correct option so now what happened to this we are going to differentiate the answers now to differentiate simply press shift and then you press the integral symbol like this okay so we are now going to enter this expression on the calculator without the plus c so e exponent x so that is shift and then natural log the exponent is x so alpha x the the cursor is up let's bring it down because the minus here is down so you click on this side now the cursor is down then we have minus natural log we have it here okay so just click on this and then once you click on natural log it opens a new bracket which means after entering what is here you must remember to close the bracket so that is e to the power x so shift and then natural log the exponent is x so alpha x 
and then remember to move the cursor down so you click on the right side then we have plus one so plus one once again let's close this bracket now this bracket you see here is for this one but this one has no ending so let's close it once you hit this that means you have closed it once again after which we are moving the cursor to the far right so you move the cursor to the far right because we are going to differentiate at the value of x is equal to 0 0.1 so simply type 0 0.1 and then you press the equal sign button bam so this is the answer we get now how do we know that this answer is equal to the one that we saved here to do that don't forget we have saved the answer for this one to a so simply press divided by then you press alpha and you press a so when you divide and you get one it means this is correct answer if you divide and you don't get positive one this cannot be the correct answer so let's see mom so it means that once we are getting negative a positive one it means the correct answer when you when you integrate this you are going to get answer a so a is correct now we move on to our next example okay so we come to the final example for this presentation and we are to evaluate the integral of e exponent x sine x dx okay so to do that as we have been saying this is actually an exponential function so your calculator must first be in radiant mode and then after which you are going to enter the expression you see without the integral and then the dx okay so let's go so we have e that is shift e exponent x now let's move the cursor down so you press on this and then we have sine x so let's now click on sine so sine and then alpha x now the sign has a bracket open so we must close it so you click on this and then after which you click on calc now we are actually integrating at the value of x is equal to 0 0.1 so when you are asked what value do you want to use simply enter 0 0.1 then you press the equal sign button that means when we integrate this the answer we get is this in order for us to do a proper comparison we are going to save this answer to a and to save it you press shift you press store and then you press a that means we have saved this answer to a then okay so now let's come to the answers which of these possible answers when we differentiate we will get this same value that we have saved in a okay so to do that we are going to differentiate this to differentiate you press the shift you press the integral symbol and then you enter this value so this is a fraction so i have fraction button and then the top is one then let's move down we have two then let's move the cursor up so i move the cursor up now i have e so shift and then natural log to the power x so alpha x you can see that the power is up but i need this bracket down so let me move down and then open bracket we are now going to enter this expression so remember once you open the bracket when you finish you must close it okay so sign so when i click sign the sign too has opened the bracket so this bracket should be closed and this one too must be closed so the sign x you press alpha and then x then we have to close this bracket so i close it up remember this bracket is still open okay so we have plus cos x so plus and then cos once you click cos cos 2 has opened a bracket so we have cos x now let's close this bracket for cos so i close the bracket up remember there was one bracket that is here to be closed okay so now that we have finished entering this data we can close that bracket and you just press this bracket is now closed now you move to the far right because we are differentiating at a value and that value is 0 
So you enter 0 0.1 here. Then you press equal sign button. This is the answer we are getting. Now, is this answer the same as the one we saved in A? To do that, you simply press divided by, then you press alpha and you press E. If you get one, that means this is correct. But when you press equal sign and you don't get one, it means this is not correct. So let's press equal to. Now you can see that this is not one. So it means the correct answer is not option A. Now let's check option B. Now if you compare, you can see that virtually everything in option B is the same as everything in option A, except that we have negative here and positive here. So we move up just to edit this one. We change this negative and uh, this positive to negative. So let's go back and do the editing. So this positive, okay, so let's go back. Uh, okay, so this positive sign, we delete it and we replace that with negative and we are done. So you simply press is equal to button and we are getting this answer. Now we want to also compare this answer to the one we have saved in A. If we get one, that means this is correct. How do we do that? Simply press divided by alpha and then you press A. Then it's equal to PAM. So once we are getting one, it means when you actually integrate this, the correct answer is going to be option B. I am grateful. Thanks for your time and thanks for subscribing. And I'm grateful. Have a good day. Bye-bye.